The next one is Jean-Patrick Racouvert with what about the disc prosthesis on L5S1 level? No. Excuse me. Ontario approach. Excuse me. Uh, I performed an uh, entire approach by uh, Mini Open Access in uh, 1998 after visiting uh, Michael Mayer in Munich and uh, Michel Animus in Besançon. At the beginning, I used uh, video assistance and later eye illumination with LED headlamp. Now it's a routine day surgery around uh, 100 procedure per year. Um, I use an uh, anterior approach for the three uh, lower level, but uh, for upper level, I prefer a uh, lateral approach by lobotomy, but I have no experience about uh, TDA at this level. Uh, it's a very short uh, time access uh, of uh, five to 15 minutes. There are no absolute uh, contraindication except uh, prior vascular surgery, abdominal aortic aneurysm, severe atherosclerosis and some uh, vascular malformation. Atherosclerosis uh, increase the risk of thrombotic events. In this case, it is necessary to be careful with the retractor and uh, pulse oximeter on the left foot uh, is very useful. Uh, obesity increased uh, vascular injuries and uh, perioperative complication rates, as you see on the article of Morgan, 38 versus uh, 19, and perioperative complication, 21 uh, versus 14. Uh, prior abdominal surgery is not a contradiction. We use uh, always a transverse abdominal plane block uh, before incision for the comfort of the patient for post-operative uh, suit. Um, you see uh, the installation with a table with uh, adjustable positioning and the uh, table held mechanicum arms. Uh, it's uh, necessary to be careful with uh, hyperlordosis that uh, increase the tension of the vessels. You see all the instrument tension. I uh, prefer uh, standard position than uh, Da Vinci position, but I uh, stay on the right side for a left approach. Uh, skin incision is a longitudinal uh, midline incision for L4, L5, and L3, L4, and a fan and steel incision for L5, S1. Uh, usually, uh, L4, L5 is, uh, is uh, just under the navel. Uh, first, uh, you uh, identify linear alba, and uh, after uh, you cut anterior rectus sheath and you follow the way along uh, the uh, sheath, uh, leaving out uh, rectus uh, muscle and uh, epigastric inferior vessel until you can uh, uh, progress uh, further is uh, necessary to cut the uh, rectus uh, posterior sheath to enter in the retroperitoneal cavity. Uh, under the aquat line uh, for L5S1, uh, you can uh, directly uh, enter in the cavity because the muscle is uh, directly in contact with the fascia transversalis. Uh, the first structure that you see is the psoas with a genitofemoral nerve on the surface. You repair iliac artery and uh, after uh, you uh, push uh, uh, to the middle uh, the peritoneum and the rotor without dissection. There is a uh, there were two problems for this exposure. 
leading to complication. The first is uh, vascular with a left common iliac vein. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of uh, variation of uh, bifurcation, aortic bifurcation and uh, vena cava confluence that you uh, see on the um, slide. This variation uh, can increase the difficulties for exposition. Uh, it's also necessary to respect two neurologic structures. First is a superior for L4, S1 is a superior hypogastric plexus. Uh, it continues protic plexus situated lightly left on the main line. And for L4, L5, the left sympathetic trunk, uh, it leads just to the lateral vertebral bodies. Blunt uh, dissection with a knitter peanut and uh, without diatomy allow to avoid damage to superior hypogastric plexus. Dissection uh, should be start right at uh, the anterior wall of the left iliac artery. Urter and uh, peritoneum are then left away. And uh, in doing so, uh, the nerve fiber go away with the uh, peritoneal. It's also uh, necessary to ligate the, uh, the, uh, the middle sacral uh, vessels. Anterior disc exposure is a little bit difficult. It's uh, necessary to, indif uh, to identify the left common iliac vein and the ilio lumbar vine. I uh, prefer beginning the dissection above uh, L4, L5, and I uh, identify the fourth lumbar vessel, make a ligation and dissection. After, I can mobilize the left uh, common iliac vein. If the tension is too high, I uh, make a, a transition of the iliolumbar vein. Uh, it recommends to um, have a both uh, prolen uh, ligature and clip on the proximal vein. Uh, it's not necessary to looking uh, for lumbar ascending vein uh, because there is a uh, more lateral. Uh, anterior uh, disc exposure is uh, easy, except for obese patient, because the first lumbar vein often is often non-existent, and the uh, iliac vessel usually do not have to be mobilized. But uh, it's necessary to be careful with uh, aberrant lower pole renal arteries, and in this case. Uh, Preoperative vascular examen is interesting. I give you my uh, one result about a series of um, 824 anterior approach for TDA and uh, leaf. Uh, the quasi uh, characteristic is very classic uh, in uh, sex ratio and uh, average age. Basically, uh, there are a few complications. Only uh, eight uh, major vein laceration, but no sequelae. Uh, five on the left common iliac vein, two on the ilioilobar vein, and one on inferior vena cava. But there is no iliac vein thrombosis. I have only one arterial thrombosis on the LCA. Uh, it uh, was treated uh, by Percut PTE the same day of the surgery. And after you seek four retropedal hematoma, eight uh, retrograde ejaculation and vaginal dryness, uh, all are resolved except two. 11 sympathetic dysfunction of left leg, 11 all resolved uh, in, uh, at uh, 12 to 18 months. And finally, four eventual and two uh, superficial wind infection 
but not deep infection. Uh, in the literature, vascular injury the rate varies uh, considerably from 1.9 uh, for Bravo to uh, 24 for uh, Shiano, but uh, really it's uh, uh, three because uh, the, the difference is um, based uh, on the exclusion or not of uh, minor uh, venous injuries. The risk factor are L4 in fine involving obesity, osteophytes, disc inflammatory, lumbosacral uh, transseasonal vertebra, and uh, also learning curve. You can see that uh, vascular injury happened more often during instrumentation than uh, during exposure. In conclusion, uh, anterior approach is a safe procedure if it must carry out with a great respect for the vessel to avoid uh, catastrophic outcomes. Most uh, intraoperative uh, vascular injury occur because vessels are incorrectly dissect, identified, and uh, controlled. And uh, we shall end with a good uh, paper of uh, uh, Jarrett. And uh, there are no difference about incidence and type of complication with regard to anterior exposure by vascular or spy surgeon. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Patrick. Uh, one question for uh, the anterior approach. Did you try the, the right access for 4-5? Never. 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 Why? Uh, because I don't make a uh, rare operation. I think for the revision surgery, it's uh, necessary to use the right approach. But uh, uh, I never try to use the uh, right approach in uh, L5-S1. Only must recommend uh, at the beginning to, to use uh, L4-S1. But I think there is no difference. What, what uh, the reason to use a right approach? To, to have the left access yes. uh, virgin in case of revision. That's uh, yes. That is the most <laughs> important way to do it. Uh, and uh, I, do, I do now, nowadays when I perform two level, the right access. It's the reason why I'm using the angio, angio CT scan, because if the, the vena is on the right side of the body, it's very difficult to mobilize the veins. But if the vein is just on the first third of the vertebral body, it's more easier. The argument in the literature is the uh, position of uh, plexus, hypogastric plexus, is uh, uh, on, the, on the light. It's uh, more on the left, left side. Le left yeah. on the left and there is less. Bit, little bit on the in left an anatomic side. point of view, uh, Jean-Yves is probably more aware of us to tell us. But uh, the plexus, the progressive plexus is more on the left side. And there are many anastomoses from the sigmoidic plexus on the left side and on the right side. And the reason why there is less stretching on the plexus, hypoxic plexus, by the right side. But I think now this is not a problem with a retroperitoneal retro approach. Yeah. It's a problem with transperitoneal approach, but uh, with a retroperitoneal. We can see the nerve and uh, they go with the peritoneum. Okay, more question on the, the axis, on the anterior approach or the lateral one? <laughs> 